2018, uh, GDPR came into play and it essentially gives people rights relating to processing and storage of their data. So now you can make a request to an organization and they have to give you access to the personal data that they store on you. Those requests are called SARS and uh, organizations must respond to them within 30 days. If they don't, there are financial penalties. So today we have Margaret, who is a product manager at Analytics, and they actually came up with a software as a service, so a SaaS platform that helps organizations deal with SAR requests. So Margaret, can you tell us a little bit more about how you guys solve this use case for organizations? <clears throat> Yes, of course. Analytics SARS supports the most time consuming uh, and challenging aspects of the SARS process. Uh, and as a consequence, it enables fast and compliant responses to subject access requests. It has an intuitive user interface, and that means that organizations can get up and running very quickly uh, with minimum training effort. Cool. Um, so I imagine there's a lot of these requests that come in uh, if you're an organization that, that stores data and um, how it must be challenging to manage the compliance risks associated if you don't respond to those requests quickly enough. Is that something that you see with your clients? Yes, absolutely. Uh, and, and that's why the, the first screen that users will see when they log into the system is a dashboard and that shows the user their active SARS uh, and it's color coded so that they can see which SARS are running late, which are nearing their due date and which are running to time. Uh, and, and in fact, admin users of the system can see all of that information for all users across the system. Um, and the dashboard also acts as a quick entry point to the host of capabilities that, that we have in the system. Okay. And um, I guess another challenge is uh, making sure that you don't miss any data. Um, how do you guys deal with that in your platform? Well, one of the most time consuming parts of the SAR process is, is a file review. Uh, and of course, the more documents that you have to review uh, and read through, the longer this will take. Uh, Analytics has a sifting mechanism that will run through the initial set of data that, that you're given to run the SAR on, and that can sometimes be a very large set of data. Um, so we've got that very large set of data, uh, and our sifting mechanism enables the user to um, enter the name of the subject, but not only that, enter um, you know, other alternatives for that subject, such as nicknames, uh, initials, uh, even usernames or, or email addresses and, and so on. And um, the sifting mechanism uses that, that information that you've put in to sift through this large body of data and will, um, in, in most circumstances, produce a much smaller body of data for you um, that's definitely relevant to the SAR uh, and uh, that is what you would then subsequently review. So because you're reducing that size of data, the review can be much faster. Okay. And what about situations where um, the documents that you need to provide to the person who requested them um, contain something that must be redacted, something that you actually can't share with that individual? How mm. does the platform deal with that? Yeah, is that when undertaken manually, uh, redaction is a long and tedious and potentially error-prone process. Uh, and that potentially also has an adverse environmental impact due to the large amount of paper needed to make multiple copies of redacted and unredacted content. Um, and using a redaction tool can help to a degree, but um, it can still take a long time and is repetitive, mm -hmm. especially when uh, wading through pages of content. And it's still open to human error as well. Uh, plus, files um, usually have to be converted to PDF before they can be processed, and text has to be manually redacted one document at, at a time. Um, but Nolytics supports um, all st uh, standard electronically readable file formats, so there's no need to, to undertake this lengthy process of converting uh, them to PDFs in order to process a SAR. Um, and whilst the system enables redaction of a word or phrase, 
uh, in a single document, it also supports the redaction of textual content across the entire data set. Um, so you redact a word or phrase once and it will automatically be redacted uh, in every document. Uh, this saves time and it mitigates the risk of disseminating information that should have been hidden. And Nolytics also recognises key personal data and will automatically redact, uh, when required, uh, that personal data across the entire data set. Organisations often have their own policies and, and lists of words or phrases that require redaction, uh, and these can be set up, maintained, uh, and maintained within the solution uh, and applied automatically. Okay, sounds good. So then my next question is, does then the data within the organization have to be stored in one place somewhere specifically? And um, how does it interact with your solution? Uh, so the data needs to be somewhere accessible uh, to your computer. So your hard drive or a shared server, server or even cloud storage such as OneDrive or Dropbox. Nolytics can access other locations direct, such as SharePoint, uh, using optional connectors. Okay. Okay. Um, and how can, you know, if I'm a compliance officer that has to deal with this, how can I have a view of um, the general state of compliance across all um, SARS that have come in? So the dashboard that I, I talked about earlier um, within the solution, it um, allows users to see details of all the SARS processed by the organisation. Uh, mm -hmm. And that information includes the number of days to completion and whether SAR deadlines have been met. Um, and the information on the dashboard can be exported to, for example, Excel, where you can do further analysis um, if you require. Okay. And, you know, since we are dealing with personal data, um, how uh, can we know that it is secure and how do you guys um, ensure that uh, on your platform? So uh, we run the service compliant to Cyber Essentials Plus. So that should give organizations the peace of mind um, in, in that respect. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, final question. Uh, how is it priced? How much does it cost? So um, the service is provided on a subscription basis uh, and it's, it's basically based on the size of the organization and the volume of SARS. So I, I suppose a case by case basis uh, for pricing. Okay, sounds good. Uh, thank you very much, Margaret. I learned a lot about um, SARS today <laughs> and uh, thank you for showing us a little bit more about analytics. My pleasure. Thanks very much. Okay. I think we did well. Yeah, I think so. <laughs>